Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass the Windows 11 hardware restrictions. Okay then guys, so welcome back. So I'm just going to show you the easiest way to bypass the Windows 11 hardware restrictions and this works on all the previous feature updates as well as the latest one 23H2 so what I'll do I'll go ahead and show you what happens if you try to run the Windows 11 setup without installing any bypasses at all so it goes ahead and checks your PC like this and the very next message will be this one here that says this PC doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements and the two big X's here and all you can do is go back or cancel the setup so we'll just go ahead and cancel it and I'll show you exactly what you need to do in order to bypass this and upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 so you need to download two things first one is the correct ISO for your particular Windows install. What I mean by that is the region. So mine is English International because it's English UK, but if you're in the US, it will be obviously English United States. So I'll just go ahead and show you this here. So if I go to Google and I type in Windows 11, then the first proper result should be this one here from Microsoft, download Windows 11 and once you're on this page if you just scroll down to where it says download windows 11 disk image iso select windows 11 in this box here select download now and it will then ask you the product language it's important that you select the correct region because if you don't then you won't get the option to keep settings and apps when you perform the upgrade so make sure you choose the right one. As I've said, if you're in the UK, it'll be English International. If you're in the US, it'll be United States, but you can check this in settings just to make sure. So I've already downloaded the ISO there. And then the other download that you'll need is the script, which I will put in the description. So once you've downloaded both of these things, the first thing you need to do is run the Windows 11 restriction script here. So I'll double click that. Select yes on the command prompt and then you'll get this window open here and it should say bypass for Windows 11 restrictions enabled in green. It'll then say launch again to disable. So if you launch the script again, it'll remove the bypass. So you can either wait for the timeout to end or just press any key. So if I just press any key, there we go, it disappears. So once you've done that, guys, you need to double click on the ISO and open it. And once that's opened, you need to just double click the setup executable there. So double click that, select yes. And you should see a little quick command prompt window pop up just before the setup opens. That's what we want to see. It will then say install Windows Server. Don't worry, this is part of the bypass. It will be installing a Windows 11 despite it saying it's going to be installing Windows Server. The first thing you need to select is change how setup downloads updates there and just select not right now. Then you want to hit next. Now, if you remember at this point before, we would have had an error to say that the requirements weren't met, but obviously on this occasion, we've now got to the license screen so if we just hit accept on that now this is the important bit so because i'm already on 23h2 i get only this option but for anybody that isn't on 23h2 you will get the keep files settings and apps if you've downloaded the correct region iso if not you will just get keep personal files only or this nothing option here so make sure you make the right selection here. And if you don't see this keep files, settings and apps option, go back and download the correct regional ISO for your particular install. Then once you're ready and you're happy with your selections, go ahead and hit next, then install. And you should be met with a big blue screen that says install in Windows Server. At that point, all you gotta do is wait for Windows 11 to be installed and wait for the PC to restart and when it restarts you should be on Windows 11 and all should be good. So that's going to be it for this video guys. 
and I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.